All right, so Canva is yet another company that's integrated AI into its tool. What it's called is Magic Write. So on your Canva doc, which I'll explain in this video too, you can write your prompt just like if you were on ChatGPT, and then what it will spit out is based on whatever you describe. And you can basically use this to help you write your drafts, write summaries, social media posts, articles, or anything that you want, just like you would with ChatGPT. Now, the catch here is that it is free. However, if you're on a Canva free account, you're only given 25 free queries, or you can access additional queries with a Canva Pro account. And by the way, if you do want a 30-day trial of Canva Pro, look in the description box below where you can sign up for that. Now the difference and the kind of selling point that I see with Canva with this kind of magic write feature is that with Canva, you know that it's kind of visual first and Canva is or started as a visual and design tool. So what you're actually getting is a bit of you know both worlds and the best of both worlds in fact. So you can not only design but you can also write at the same time, making it more flexible and more powerful than if you were to use Google Docs or Word, which is quite limited. So in other words, you can use Canva's usual features such as its text tool, adding elements, media, photos, and things of that nature, plus the power of adding text using its Magic Write. So let's get to it and I'll show you how Magic Write actually works. All right, to get started, again, make sure you have a Canva account. Once you're logged in, you'll see Doc. Now, if you do not see this, then you can always search for Doc and then you'll see Doc. Okay, that's what you want because this is specific to that Magic Write feature and will only be enabled there. From here, you'll see a list of templates based on Canva docs. If you wanna start from scratch, click on create a blank doc, which we'll do right now. All right, to get started, simply type in your title, whatever you're doing, whether you're writing an article, blog piece, or anything like that. So we'll start writing a title. In this example, I've put in five productivity tips for entrepreneurs. So that'll be the title for this example article. Now on a new line, let's activate Magic right and it's as simple as either clicking that little plus icon as you can see now that'll bring up some commands not just that magic right feature. You've got heading one, heading two, and all these other features where you can embed things like charts, as you can see, as well as lists. But as we're discussing Magic Write in this video, we'll only activate Magic Write. So simply click on Magic Write, and then you'll see this window, right, to enter your prompt. And then simply describe what you want, where this prompt field is. In this case, I'll just put in write an article on five productivity tips for entrepreneurs, and then I can press enter or return. Give it a few seconds to kind of come up with that content. And then you'll see what's highlighted is what AI actually generated. If you simply click away, that highlight will disappear and you can read through it and this will hopefully give you a guide or a, a little help assistance to writing your article. We could also go back and have the AI or magic write in this case suggest different titles, perhaps making it catchier than what we have existing. So that's the power of using AI. The other way to execute magic write is to use the command. So on your keyboard, simply press forward slash and then type in magic and then you're good to go. As I mentioned earlier, the difference between using Canva's Magic Write AI versus another kind of AI assistant writing tool is that with Canva, you can implement some of its uh, tools such as adding different elements. You can upload your own media. So let's say you wanna add a photo, simply go to elements and let's say photos and let's choose this guy right here. Okay, and there we go. It's now integrated into your Canva doc. We can also move it about, move it around anywhere we want. Let's say after tip number one. So as simple as that, and that's the power, you know, with Canva's uh, docs, and we can also utilize AI at the same time. At the time of this recording, Canva has proposed a couple of new handy features, including its paraphrasing tool, where this AI can paraphrase uh, and reword, rewrite any piece of content. So you can focus on spinning and editing it into a unique sentence or paragraph. And the next thing is a summary generator. So that's the thing, next thing that's coming soon, which will essentially summarize and condense any piece of content. If you need a few ideas in terms of what Magic Write can generate for you, take a look at its FAQ section, link in the description, but you can get and generate some social and ad copy, landing page copy, template copy, blog content, website copy, 
uh, snap your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, post descriptions, and more. A little side note when using Canva's Magic Write. Most of these AI writing tools are powered by OpenAI's GPT-3, and you can see right here how is AI text generated. You can see that it's trained uh, with data on the public internet up to mid-2021. And by looking at that date and fact, uh, this is based on GPT-3 and what it's collected up to that point. And because of this, there may be some inaccuracies depending on your topic and let's say you're in finance and you wanna generate some content based on the latest financial stats or stocks and crypto and all that. Because remember the crypto crash that happened not long ago, right? This wouldn't have been recorded since mid 2021 and all that crypto crash and everything happened after. But that's something to take note of. And again, AI writing assistance is there to actually assist you and help you in writing. So whenever you have writer's block or anything like that, as opposed to simply copying and pasting what it produces and posting it on the internet. Apart from that, Magic Write is a great addition to what's already quite useful and powerful inside Canva. I'm really excited about it. I don't know about you, but do let me know in the comments and what your thoughts are on this new feature. I'd love to know. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, do give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you. Talk soon and take care.